My wife and I were married 41 years ago. And I, Sumner, Washington, she had seven songs, a full worship set. Um, she sang to me. My wife has a beautiful voice. She sang to me. I had this white suit on or this white tux on. And I had hair down to my shoulders and a beard. <sighs> Skinny. <laughs> she was singing to me. And, and when we did our vows, I, she said her vows to me and I said my vows back to her. As we said our vows, I never, I, in the vows, I never said to her, well, I'm gonna try to love you hard. I'm gonna work my very, very best to love you more every day. I'm gonna work hard to please you. My vows are for better or for worse, for rich or poor, sickness and health, till death to this point. I do, I do, I, I'm in it for the journey. I'm not trying to win my wife's affection. I'm trying to come close and she's coming close to me where our hearts are transformed by our affection for one another. It's not in the doing, it's in the becoming. I'll be talking, just the two of us, and there'll be a look that goes over her face. Like, really? And I immediately go back two or three sentences. What did I say, what did I say? Oh, that's what I said. How many understand that language? You know what that speaks of? That speaks of somebody who you know so close, who is so close to you, who you love. You know their very heart that you can tell immediately when you've hurt their heart. God's designed it so that we would have this kind of fellowship with him. We call this fellowship and this communion prayer. It's not a task. It's not a place of hard work. It's a place of fellowship and intimacy.